welcome back it is Ashley Allure your home girl we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video everything you need to know about me is down below as well as my other channels if you're into tarot please check out my other channels my TikTok as well but let's get into this this is a beauty haul if you didn't know I'm gonna show you guys my my little mini haul my birthday haul and show y'all what new items that I got period so let's get into this okay so first things first um what I was going to say is, guys, 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 I did have the NARS foundation, but me personally, I have combination to dry skin. Combination normal to dry skin. It all depends on the weather. all depends on what's going on. So I wanted to pick up a new foundation for my birthday. This is the foundation that I got. This is the Born This Way by Too Faced. This is the Born, sorry y'all, my dog, she be doing crazy stuff. This is the Born This Way by Too Faced. This is a oil-free foundation. It says, undetectable medium to full coverage, full foundation. This is how it looks. All right, I just want to show you guys real quickly that this is how it looks. I love the packaging. It is to die for, okay? So, it does say um, on the side, it does tell you what's in it. So, it says infused with coconut water, which aids in delicately replenishing skin's moisture levels. And that's a big thing for me when I wear makeup because normally I get like that dry little film. It looks kind of dry and it's like, ooh, especially around the mouth or, you know, the creasing under the eyes. All right. It says Alpine Rose helps empower skin's health and resilience. All right. Um, it also says hyaluronic acid, which is great for moisture because every one drop of hyaluronic acid is a hundred drops of water or moisture. If you guys didn't know, all right. It says it gives a smoother and more youthful appearance. I definitely agree. If you do have trouble with dry skin, you definitely want to try hyaluronic acid as a serum to kind of put in to your routine. Okay. It says the oil-free foundation masterfully. Excuse me. Diffuses the line between makeup and skin coverage, so undetectable, and skin so naturally flawless. They'll think you were born this way. Literally, it's photo friendly, long wearing, and non common comedogenic. So, if you don't know what comedogenic means, that means like clogging of the pores. So, it does not clog the pores. All right, then it has this little reviews on the side here. All right, just telling you what people think. A hundred people think this, they think that. Blase, blase. All right, but yeah, this is how it looks. I love their packaging. It is literally to die for. It's so fucking cute. Like, if you're a pink girl like me or a girly girl like me, you're like, oh my God, it's cute as hell. Um, but yeah, so I, I am in the shade Warm Beige. I did color match myself. I had, I let the girl help me um, with my, with my excuse me, concealer. But I do want to show you guys how the bottle actually looks. So I got this for my birthday makeup. All right. So this is the packaging. This is how it comes. I could just show you guys a little bit. So this is how the foundation comes. It's a good size. All right, it says born this way. It says the same things at the top. I love it. It looks super sleek, very cute. You know, you take the top off, boom, comes with a little pumper, okay? And boom, you snap it right back in. This is like a staple. I feel like it's gonna be a staple in my beauty routine, all right? And then it shows you at the bottom what the actual shade is. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the box. Well, Jesus, I just knocked my little candle over. But this is the foundation that I definitely got, okay? Yeah. And then we're going to move on to the next product. I also got the Too Faced product, but this time I have the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage. All right, and this is how that looks. This is the multi-use sculpting concealer. This is also in the shade Taffy. I know it may not look like my shade, but it is. It says to conceal, to contour, to highlight and retouch. All right, so it says the same things on the side that it said earlier. It says covers, contours, highlights, and retouches with this super perfecting natural finish concealer slash makeup hybrid. The ultimate multi-use formula for a modern hydrating photo-ready complexion. So it's buildable, of course. It's medium to full coverage. You can build all the way up to full coverage or you can just use a little bit here. Me personally, if you're using both of these, I really don't think that you should build it all the way to full coverage unless you're going for like that super cake face bratty kind of vibe okay but anyways i'm going to show you guys how this looks the box is a little beat up because they really didn't have any more of this shade when i went to the store i just so happened to find it with the help of the lady all right so this one is a little bit different it does come with the born this way um pamphlet i love how the pamphlet looks it's super small if i could just open it up 
Okay, hold on, y'all, because I'm, I'm struggling. All right, so it's super small like this. Very cute. It's giving, you know, um, pretty in pink. All right, so you open it up, and it just shows you how to blend the makeup. Okay, one side is in English, one side is in a different language. This is the English side. It tells you where it goes, where you can apply the concealer, what it does, how to highlight, and how to conceal. So contour and highlight is one side and conceals on the other side. So before and after. This is the conceal and excuse me, the contour and highlight. And this is the conceal. I like how they have this guide because if you're not familiar with doing this, it gives you a perfect little small guide where you're like, okay, hey, this is what you're expecting. But this is the shade Taffy for concealer. Very cute. The only thing different is that this kind of comes with a two. The tube is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love, 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 love it. Like, look at that. It's so perfect. All right, and then it comes and it goes securely back in here. These are like so cute for on the go. If you know your exact shade, you don't need to max or mitch. Not mitch. Mix is perfect. All right, and then we're going to go to the next thing. Because, you know, guys, when I was buying all this stuff, I wanted a full face. And I already had a lot of stuff. I was just missing small things. So I'm like, okay, I got my foundation. I got my concealer. Now I need a, a contour or something to contour with. Because at first I was using the Pro Conceal Shade and Chocolate. Then I was using the, um, I want to say it was the NYX concealer, the one with the little... Uh, sponge on the end I forgot what it's called if I remember I'll insert it but yeah so now I end up getting a concealer because I wanted to try Fenty Beauty I haven't tried their lip glosses I haven't tried uh Fenty as in like her or her uh what you call it um lingerie or anything so this is my first ever Rihanna product first ever Fenty product okay this is the matte stick matte skin stick crayon you know it tells you how much it is but it's Fenty Beauty by Rihanna this is the shade number four which is truffle so I'm using this to contour of course my nose my forehead you know chisel it down my cheeks and my chin as well too to give me that sculpted look all right but I'm gonna go ahead and open this and see what it looks like here this is like you know the shade truffle how it comes let's see I'm so excited I'm gonna open it from the bottom because the top is kind of you know all right so super cute very sleek a modern packaging I love the iridescence where it says fancy beauty this is what it looks like open it up super nice super creamy what I will say is I realized on the testers when you leave them out long enough they do become super brittle and dry but these are super um, nice sleek very creamy like you know I could touch it just like that and I'm already having a little bit on me all right and it's super blendable by the way I love how you can roll it up roll it down all right but make sure you roll it down every time make sure the top is on but this is how it looks also something to throw in your makeup bag on the go with your purse all right, I thought it would come with the instruction, uh, instruction pamphlet or something, but it didn't, and that's okay. All right, um, also, I'm going to tell you, I believe this foundation is $45. I bought it for $45, correct me if I'm wrong. Give me one second. I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the right prices for these products. Because I don't want to be like, girl, you told me that shit was $35. It was $52 when I got in the store. Like, I just want to let y'all know. Okay? Yes, Domino. I'm about to get in bed with you. I'm about to cuddle you, girl. My dog, she really be spoiled all the time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the foundation. I believe either I bought this at Ulta or I bought it at Sephora. Let me take a look because I did shop at both stores. I believe I got this stuff from Sephora. All right, um... So let's see, let's take a look. Give me one second. I know I'm taking a long time, guys, but. Fuck it, I'm just gonna look it up. Scan the barcode. Okay, so this is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Finish Longwear Foundation in the color Warm Beige. It has four out of five stars and it is $46 for the foundation. 
that's not too bad I've seen higher but this is the store price all right then we're gonna go to the born this way this is the concealer that I mentioned earlier I'm just going to scan the bottom and see how much it is okay so now they're saying that is not covered that is not from Sephora which I know I bought it from there so let's just see um, if I can find it on Ulta.com actually here it is so I have it on Ulta.com it is $36 all right for this foundation all right and it is for 4 out of 5 stars okay I've heard wonderful things about this foundation so I'm so excited to try it but I know damn well I got this Fenty Beauty from Sephora like I'm not gonna play with them at all let's see what it says cause ain't no way I know I got it from Sephora but now they saying that I didn't oh, oh my goodness let me see if I can find it Cause I just know, like I just thought I knew. Okay, so now we have here's the matchstick here. Okay, this is the matchstick contour stick. It has 4.1 out of five stars on Ulta.com. This is 32 dollars. All right, me personally, when I buy new stuff for my face and all that, I I want to have it for at least uh, nine months to a year. Even though I don't do my makeup like I used to, I'm trying to get back into doing uh, daily makeup videos with different colors and pops and this and that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next product. So the next product that I did want to talk about, this is the OS. I did my friend's makeup with this. And when I tell you guys, it lasted all night. We went to four clubs. We went to lounges. We were shaking our butts. You know, the section that we was in at the club caught on fire, baby. Her makeup was still fire by the end of the night, okay? All right, so this is the OS, or the brand is called One Size. I know I'll get this from Sephora. This is the shade 03, which is Sweet Honey. I did want the translucent because I was going for Laura Mercier at first. That's my all-time um, cult favorite, but they didn't have it in either store. So I decided to get this because I wanted the mini and this they didn't have it. This is the ultimate setting powder. All right, so I am going to go ahead and scan it to see how much this will run, you guys. I don't know why I keep thinking I'm getting everything from Sephora and they're telling me no, it's Ulta. But I just knew, like... Let me see. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. I had a small intermission. All right, but anyways, I finally found the powder. Okay, it was from Sephora. Excuse me, but when I scanned on the app, it wouldn't come up. So this is the One Size by Patrick Star Ultimate Blurring Setting Powder. I did want to get this the shade, what was this? The Universal Translucent for Fair to Medium Dark Skin. However, it was completely out of stock, so I decided to get the Medium to Deep Skin Tone. This is a Sweet Honey. Hopefully, this may look too crazy. This runs you, I want to say, maybe $32. I'm looking at the small one right now. Excuse me, $34 for this full size. It's $34 for this. This is how it looks. All right, I'm just going to open it up a little bit. And look at the packaging. I think it's so sleek. It's so cute. All right, this is how it looks. And then, of course, on the back, it tells you Sweet Honey, what it's called. And it tells you you have 12 months to use it. This is what this small little thing is on any type of cosmetic product. It's the shelf life. All right, but, um, you know, I open it up. It does come like this. I haven't used it. It's not open yet, but you know, I just wish it would come with a puff inside, but that's fine. I do have my beauty blenders that I use, but it does have a very pleasant smell that I do love. All right, but this is another thing that I definitely got for my skincare haul because why not? You all need a good setting powder, and that Laura Mercier did me well. My boyfriend bought it. Um, I loved it, but this is a little bit better. This is a little bit better. I. I I don't know I'm, I'm kind of taken aback by it okay and then the next product we have this is the soft pinch blush liquid fries this is in the shade happy rare beauty the the liquid blushes this is seen can't even talk this is selena gomez's brand okay so i didn't even know what shade to get so i got happy these blushes i'm gonna see if i can scan them by the way um let me see if i can scan it in but i want to say they, they run you a good little bit let me see Let's see if it'll let me scan it, guys. All right, so here's the blush. I got it. It looks like I can't even show you guys. 
I'm trying to see what I so the blush looks like this all right and it is the best of beauty it won the allure 2022 um award so it's really really amazing but i've been seeing the trend with liquid blushes and you know when you use powder you want to stick with powder when you're using liquid or water-based products you want to stick with them when your makeup looks very cakey and it looks very ashy or something of that nature it's because the two aren't mixing you're probably using a oil this and then using a water-based that and that's why it looks that way you kind of want to stick to one consistency however this does have four point excuse me 4.4 out of five stars all right this is the dewy cool pink in the shade um happy this will run you 23 dollars, and they do have a mini which i think is maybe 17 or less but this is how it looks and when i say the packaging is cute don't get me wrong but baby when i tell you i swatched this blush it is so pigmented it's like a gloss so if you like to use blush on your eyelids as well, all right, this is a perfect product to use for that. But honey, this, it has a very pleasant smell as well, but it says you are rare. It's a rare beauty and it says you are rare in the inside. I think that is just so cute. So I did, I don't have any blush or bronzer, so I decided the contour stick and the blush can go hand in hand. Um, the bronzer that I did have got a little uh, too dark for me and the blush that I did have was a little old. You know, I was using the Anastasia palette from my hat years ago. All right, um, and then I ended up going to Ulta and I got the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I've had this before, but I always have trouble um, putting liner, doing cat eyes or um, doing wing liner. So I always get the pen. It does come in this box. I want to say this probably ran me about $10. This is in the shade black, of course. All right, I know damn well I got this from Ulta, okay? Um, let me see. Hey, Domino. Let me see if it'll come up. What girl? Domino, you can't jump up here while I'm doing this. All right, so Epic Ink Vegan Waterproof Lick Liner, Lick Lip Liner. These are buy two get one free at the current time. Being here, but they are ten dollars. I got a black one that comes in brown, and then I also got. I think they were doing buy one get one free, so I ended up getting two lip pencils. One is in the shade. Give me one second. It's not showing. Okay, so one is in the shade nutmeg and then the other one is in the shade current these are both lip liners one is like a brown all right for your lip liner and then one is like kind of a burgundy all right depending on my vibe or what i think <laughs> i know i see my little dog in the background all right and then i also got a la colors gel liner from like the regular beauty supply store all right but these are like um you know a couple of things that i picked up here this ran me almost 200 dollars. i want to say and then i also i cannot live without this lip gloss this is by makeup revolution this is the what is it called the pout bomb plumping lip gloss with vitamin e when i tell you guys i get so many compliments on my lips my lip gloss especially if i'm doing like a lip liner or i'm blending it in or even if i'm just going bare like i am now i get a million and one compliments people always ask me oh my god what is that lip gloss you're wearing and normally i wear the bath and body works the minty gloss but i haven't been getting those lately this is the same thing as that but it does give you that plumping effect um between this and the holy lips um lip gloss or the plumping serum i would choose this every time it's cheaper and it works better and it doesn't leave that film of like white whiteness but like let me show you guys one thing i like about this you can put on as much as possible it does come in other shades i just always get the clear opposed to the drugstore lip gloss and look at it it looks perfect all right it looks perfect it feels perfect and you know it doesn't give you that sticky nasty feeling you can still drink your drinks you can still have everything you want and then some all right and then lastly guys i did order two packs of lashes from aliexpress remember i used to i remember i used to wear their lashes a lot a lot a lot but they didn't come like this they would come in singles like this but i ended up ordering these i think it cost me six dollars all right, so I was just shopping around on there, but I did order these lashes. They come like this. Each one is a different style. Me personally, um, this is my favorite style here. All right, but each one is different. So like if I'm going for a, net, uh, a neutral day or a different day, I would choose this. All right, if I'm going for light makeup, I would choose this. More dramatic, I would choose these two. And then something that's like super um, emphasis on the rest of the face, I would use these lashes. But these are super cute. This is the SD12. And I actually ordered two of these. 
two packs of these. Hold on. Give me one second, y'all. So I did order two packs of these lashes. They're pretty much the same. Like the all the lashes on this one are the exact same. And then this is a variety pack. I ordered both of these. They were run me about six dollars a piece, including shipping. All right, if I am wrong, I will put the link to every single product down below in the description box. All right, but you know, this is a quick full face. So if I was in a rush, the only thing I don't have here is primer, but I will be uploading a video of my makeup favorites when it comes to doing a quick full beat. All right, I use a multitude of primers and sprays and this and that, but I actually really love this these products that I literally just bought. They're perfect, okay? But anyways, this was a quick little haul. If you guys love it, like the video, comment down below, subscribe and support your girl as well as my other channels. And I will see you all later. Mm -hmm.